So this is something that came up this summer in my talks as I was giving them. I was talking about masculinity and femininity and this came up and I wanted to tell you about this little life policy I have. This is all about accepting chivalry. So the definition of chivalry that I'm talking about is courteous behavior, especially that of a man toward woman. Gallantry, gentlemanliness, courtesy, courteousness, politeness, graciousness, mannerliness, good manners, act of chivalry. That's the definition I'm talking about. So, accepting chivalry. What does that even mean? Lots of women ask me all the time and I wanted the same thing, like where are the men willing to step up and lead and kind of take charge and live out their masculinity? Like why won't men step up in our world today? Blah, 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 blah. So I started asking myself that question, how can I encourage men in their masculinity? How can I be a part of the solution, even in the smallest of ways, to encourage men to be men? Accepting chivalry was the way that I decided to do that. I have all kinds of life policies. Things like uh, I never leave dishes in the sink, things like that. And one of my life policies is that I have to accept chivalry when it is presented to me. With the conditions that I will talk about later on in this video, I am not allowed to reject chivalry chivalry when it is offered to me by a man. I am talking about those moments when a man offers me his seat, when a man offers to tuck in my chair, when a man offers to carry my bag, when a man offers to hoist my bag up into the overhead bin on an airplane. Whenever I am in the situation where a man says, please here, have my seat when I'm on the bus or the tram at the airport or whatever, uh, I have to accept, I have to say yes, thank you very much. An example is when I was in Belgium with my dear friend Sarah and we were on uh, we were on the train and we were switching trains and I had a big heavy suitcase because we were coming from World Youth Day and there was a kind young man who said, here, can I take your bag down the stairs for you? And I had already adopted this policy in my life and I was like, oh, I could totally do this myself right now. Totally do this myself, I don't wanna let him, but I have this life policy. Yes, you can totally carry my bag down the stairs. In a moment of just him being a man, letting me be a woman, he carried my big heavy bag down the stairs. Is this hard for me sometimes? Yes, why? Because of what I just said. I can do things, right? Like I can, I can lift my bag up into the overhead. I can carry my bag down the stairs. I can, you know, stand up on a tram for, you know, five or 10 minutes. It's not like I can't do it. In that moment, it's like, oh, I wanna be Miss Independent. I wanna do it myself. I'm a grown woman, I can do all things. But in that moment, when a man says, here, let me do this for you, or can I do this for you? He's just saying, can I just be a man right now? And can I just treat you like a woman? And can I do this for you? And will you accept the masculinity that I'm trying to offer you in a very kind, polite, courteous way in this moment? I don't think that when men offer me chivalry, right? Like I don't think that a man in Belgium was saying, mm, I don't think this woman can bring her bag down the stairs. She doesn't look like she's capable. I don't think that. I don't think that when a man offers me a seat on the train or whatever that may be, that they're thinking like, oh, she can't stand up for that long or she can't hoist her own bag into the air. I think he's just saying, I would like to be a man in this moment. When I accept these small little acts of politeness, of courtesy, of chivalry, I am letting that man live his masculinity rather than squashing it, rather than rejecting it. I am accepting it and I am therefore encouraging him in his manhood which I think is a good and positive thing. Since I adopted this policy in my life, whenever I have accepted the chivalry, those little moments of chivalry that a man has offered me, I've never felt weak. I didn't stand there and feel weak when the man was carrying my bag down the stairs. I didn't stand there and feel weak when the guy was draining my trash hide. I don't, stand, I don't feel weak when a man, you know, holds the door open for me. In that moment, I actually feel feminine. And I feel like a woman and I feel like, wow, this is so nice to just be like treated like a woman and to let this man be a man. And it's a really nice thing to feel feminine. We love feeling feminine. I love going to Sephora and doing all the makeup and buying a pretty dress and putting on heels and you know whatever way it makes you feel feminine. Like I love feeling feminine and in those moments when I let a man be a man I don't feel weak. I don't feel incapable. I don't feel less than. I feel feminine which is a good and beautiful thing. And I want to make a disclaimer. I am not, my policy is not that I have to accept anything a man offers me in my life, right? That is not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that every man since I adopted this policy in my life long ago, every man who offered to, you know, buy me a drink at the bar that I have to accept or every man that was like, "Here, let me walk you out to your car and I would be alone with this man in a parking lot." Uh, no, I accept those small acts of courteous, polite chivalry when I am in public, 
around people and when I feel comfortable because as we know some men have motives that are not good but my rule is that if I feel safe and if I feel comfortable and if I'm in public around people I have to accept that chivalry those feelings of safety of comfortability and of being around people are very very crucial in living this policy in my life and trying to encourage men in that um, and I'm not saying you know go out there and accept everything that men offer you because that would not be smart and that would not be wise I'm talking about the those small moments like the ones I have described. Now, am I telling you again that you need to adopt this policy in your life? No, but I had so many women come up to me after my talks this summer when I was talking about this, saying like, I had never thought of it that way. So something to think about. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel to join the fiesta here if you would like to do that as well. My sister's getting married this weekend, and I am so excited about it. That's all for today. Talk to you soon.